guys, I was just gonna show you how to uh, record videos with this 4K. Actually, it's on fault. I say record because you're gonna be re-recording your videos, actually, what you recorded with the camera. If you have a, a Pixbro, uh, the software gets a little complicated, but it's not that hard. So what you do is just click on the software. It pops up this window. It says Pixbro SP360 in your case. Maybe it's a 4K if you have the newer one. Uh, but it works the same way. So what you do is, I'm assuming you dumped everything on the hard drive or, or somewhere on the desktop or whatever. So you click on this. If, if you're just using your camera hooked up to the computer, then this will lit up too. So you can click on that and actually import the videos in there. So you double click on the disk, go to your folder, wherever you put it in. in. In my case, this is my folder right here. You don't select the videos, single video. It's just kind of selects whatever's in the folder so make sure that whatever is in the folder will be um, imported here gonna show up so you just say open and you see that um, the videos are recorded right here see this global right here now however you want to unfold you can just say I want to unfold it as panoramic 360 it unfolds it like that but what what they don't tell you is the video is not ready to export yet so what you do is you just literally play the video and hit the record button so it records another video of unfolded version because your video is recorded right now as global like this that round thing it has to be unfolded in a way if you record it as global like this it'll unfold an extraction throw out ring or magic flat right there but my purpose is the 360 right now so what you do is just select 360 hit record button and it starts recording the video so however much your video time is you're gonna see it over here it's real time how, how much ever you record it it's gonna be that long right here now what you can do is I'll tell you a trick uh, you can literally move these bars this one right here and this one right here and you can narrow down the uh, time of the video if you wanted to which I will just you know pause it right here move this thing you know so yeah see like my video wants to record now since I paused it. Um, test one, let's say, and say save. Now see, it's um, recording this test one video right here. It's gonna save it to the spot. You're gonna see how it unfolded. We're just saying test one. I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you, but. there it is okay so you finish this okay now we saved the video as test one I'm gonna go ahead and um, see if I can show you where it's saved uh, test videos I open this up I probably saved it right here test one right there see this video has the uh, meta tags and everything as um, in a 360 so it looks like a regular video here until you upload it to YouTube. So once you upload it to YouTube, it recognizes or Facebook recognizes that this is a 360 video. Right now you're looking at a regular video. See how it is playing right here? This is a regular video. It looks like regular video because my player is not um, a 360 player. So what you do is uh, put it on YouTube, which I'll show you what it shows. Um, let's just shrink the screen here again so you can see what's going on here. Okay. So, if you wanted to play this video on YouTube, so you can drag things around now. This is the video I recorded, and um, after you extract it, you can look around. Up and down will be like black, but this is panoramic view, so you can unfold it in a different way and see things in a different way too. But this is the unfolded version of the video right there. So, I hope this helps. Shoot if you have any questions.